I have a similar story, but I need to explain the location a little. Grandma's house has reputation for SP00KS. Two-story house. Second floor is used for storage, since it's too spooky for us. Notable events are a truck pulling up the driveway, then magically gone without a sound when you walk five feet from the window to the door. Seeing figures atop the staircase. Children playing with an unseen little girl named Leslie. Objects moving while you're looking at them. My stories are 1. Be me, five years old. Hanging out in bedroom, watching cartoons. Grandpa has clown doll collection for some reason, thought it was normal at the time. One of these dolls is a clown sitting on a swing, which he has hung up on the inside of the bedroom window. Sister and I hear a light tapping on the window. Look over, clown is slowly swinging back and forth. Sleep in a different room. 2. Be me, 7. Chilling with sister, doing same as last story. Grandma making mac and cheese. God am I love mac and cheese. Grandpa in living room watching law and order or something. Blanket is slightly off the bed, laying on the floor. Coming back from the kitchen after getting a drink. Step at edge of bed where blanket covers floor. Distinctly feel a hand under my foot, I can feel individual fingers. It silently jerks under the bed when I step on it. Promptly shit bricks. Slowly look under bed, sister staring at me with fear. Nothing under the bed except some shoe boxes. 3. The one that actually resembles your story. Be me, 15. Looking around upstairs because some of my childhood stuff is up there and nostalgia. Walk into upstairs bedroom. The bedroom has its own small bathroom, look towards it because the door is open. Clown jester music box is sitting on top of a pile of boxes facing towards me. I make eye contact, then it starts playing. Think holy shit, take it home so it doesn't get damaged while being stored up there. It still occasionally turns on by itself without me winding it up for months.